The, the first game is called Authors. All four contestants, step forward, please. And they're going to be telling a story between them, each adopting a different famous author's style. Uh, Mike, which author are you uh, like? Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss. All right. Uh, nice and adult. Uh, Chris. Um, Jack London in big print for the older reader. <laughs> Fine. I think I understand that. Uh, Sandy? Uh, Joy Francis. All oh, right, sort of school story. Is that? Yes, what Biddy got up to at Greystone. Yes. Well, interesting. And John? Uh, the monologues of Alan Bennett. Alan Bennett. Jolly good, like Alan Bennett. Now, what we'd like is uh, from somebody in the audience a title for the story, something nice and exotic and interesting. <laughs> More interesting than complete silence, for example. Flash Gordon and the Icemen. Flash Gordon and the Icemen. And somebody shouted, Shrangle. Sh Oh, I wish you hadn't done that. <laughs> <laughs> let's, uh, let's um, who is it going to the Iceman? Flash Gordon. Flash Gordon. Let's have Flash Gordon going to Shangri-La. Let's combine those two suggestions. <laughs> Almost impossible to say. Uh, where you go, Mike? In Shangri-La, the Hiffle Dumps were jumping up and down. They knew that Uncle Flash Gordon was coming soon to town. They donned their heads with Alamode mode and pasted their buttocks blue. And left and cavorted and jumped up and down because of you-know-who. Black Jake, having jumped up and down, surveyed the jungles of Shangri-La and thought, what a bloody stupid place to bring a sled and some huskies. <laughs> mush, he shouted. It may be mush to you, shouted one of the huskies. But a lot of people appreciate this sort of sentimental rubbish. When they'd finished eating their mush, Daffers and Georgina went up to the dorm. There they had a perfect view over to the boys' school and they could see Gordon. What was he up to? Well, no wonder everybody called him Flash Gordon. I was dressed reaching over for the EVAP. <laughs> when my mother turned to me, she said, you mustn't wear flashes on your socks, Gordon. <laughs> it's common. It's what gypsy children do. I said, how do you know about gypsy children? You've never met any. She said, I read about them in the papers. I said, we don't get the papers. I said, well, we will. <laughs> the papers came, the papers went, and so did Mighty Flash. The Hooskaloos and Wuffalumps, hell cashed in on cash. They knew the fun was beginning. It was sure to be a cinch. For that day in the Hufflum Square, they were buggering the mighty Grinch. <laughs> Black Jake strapped the Hufflump to his shed. Sled! And his shed. <laughs> and sweeping the Eskimo girl up into his arms. The games mistress had spent altogether too long in the shed and everyone was wondering what she was doing in there. <laughs> The lashings of ginger beer, they said. Oh, never mind the ginger beer, she said. Let's just have the lashings. <laughs> she said, have you seen to the dahlias? I said, what? I said, have you seen to the dahlias? She said, well, just give him a splash. I said, I'm not giving him a splash. They want a good drink. She said, speaking of which, I looked the other way. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. That's, uh... Well, that was, uh, I think that was a difficult title we came up with it, but, uh, but you cope with it um, averagely, so I'll give you five points each. 